Hello everyone. So in this lesson, we're going to be talking about something called higher purchase. So how does it work? Let's see. So let's say there's this cool laptop that we would like to buy. You walk into the shop one day and the laptop is selling for 10,000 Rand. What that means is that if you give the shop owner 10,000 Rand, you take that laptop and it is yours. Or there is another option. You can pay a small amount for the laptop, which we call the deposit. So the deposit is a small amount that you pay on the day that you are in the shop. And then the shop owner is going to be a little bit upset with you because you're not giving him the full 10,000 Rand. You're only giving a small amount. So the amount that you have not paid, they are going to penalize you by adding on interest. And so you're going to end up paying more. Let's see how it works. So first option, you could buy it now. So if you buy now, then all you're going to spend is 10,000 Rand. That is it. It's finished. If we use the higher purchase option, then it works like this. You pay the shop owner a small amount, which we call a deposit, and that's going to be 10%. 10% of what? Well, 10% of the original amount. So 10% of a th uh, 10,000, if you wanted to work that out, you'd say 10 over 100 times by 100,000, and that's going to give you a thousand rand. So you need to give the shop owner a thousand rand. All right, so please imagine yourself handing over the 1,000 rand to the shop owner. Okay, so let's say this is the shop owner over here, but he's a little bit upset with you because you haven't given him the full amount. Okay, so you've given him a thousand rand. So how much do you still owe on the laptop? Well, the laptop is 10,000 rand, and if you minus the 1,000 rand, you still owe this guy 9,000 rand. So he's a little bit upset with you, because you still owe him 9,000 rand. So what he's gonna do is he is gonna take this 9,000 rand, and he's going to add interest. He's going to add money onto that so that you end up having to pay him a little bit more. That's fair. You're not giving him the full amount. So he's letting you take the laptop for a thousand rand, but he wants you to pay the 9,000 rand back. But you're also going to pay a little bit more and you're going to do it over three years. So he's going to add interest on and he's going to do that using simple interest. Remember, we've learned about simple and compound. Higher purchase is always simple. Please remember that. Higher purchase, simple. Higher purchase, simple. Higher purchase, simple. So we use the simple interest formula and we're not going to use 10,000 as the starting amount. This person is only going to, they're only upset because of the 9,000 Rand that you haven't paid. So they're going to take that 9,000 Rand and they're going to add interest. Now in the advert, they said 12% per year. So that's 12 over 100 or 0.12. And then that's going to be over a three year period. And so let's see what that 9,000 Rand is going to turn into. Wow. 12,240 Rand. So imagine this, guys. You've already paid 1,000 Rand. Then the man takes that 9,000 Rand that you still owe him. And he says, hey, by the way, I'm turning that 9,000 Rand into 12,240 Rand. Crazy, right? But you get to pay it off over three years, and typically you will pay per month. So in three years, there is 36 months, and so you're going to pay this man 12,240 Rand. But if you're paying it every month, then let's see how much you would actually have to pay per month. 340 Rand. And so 340 Rand per month is very cheap, and that is why a lot of people choose the higher purchase option because it seems like it's cheaper but you're actually spending more on the laptop. How much did this person actually spend on the laptop? Well what happened is you spent a thousand rand already okay so the total is gonna be the one thousand rand plus that nine thousand rand turned into 12,240 Rand. So you got to add that on. And so you are going to end up spending 13,240 Rand on a laptop that is only worth 
10,000 Rand. So the disadvantage is that you're going to pay more for the laptop, but the advantage is that each month you're only going to have to spend 340 Rand.